Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I want to do today guys is show you how to create a halftone sphere in Adobe Illustrator. A really, really impressive thing that you can create and a very simple step-by-step -step process for you to follow to create such effect. As you can see, I have an example in front of us here just to give you an idea of what we're trying to create today. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and now let's delete it as we're starting from fresh. Okay, so first thing I need to do is create my ellipse. So I'm just gonna get the ellipse tool and press shift to make sure this is proportionate. And also I'm using option on a Mac or Alt on a Windows to, re, uh, to resize or scale the ellipse from the center point. Okay, let's just use our alignment tools up here. Wonderful. And what I need to do to this particular gradient is apply a black and white um, gradient option to this like so what i need to do is make sure we have a radial gradient but what i need to do is make sure i'm having a black to white gradient so i have my option up here just to simply reverse it like so okay i'm just going to remove the stroke option as well we don't need a stroke now with this still selected i'm going to now kind of come to effect pixelate color half tone I must make sure that my radius is 80 and we're going to press okay Wonderful. So now you can see we've created the halftone pattern, right? Okay. What we need to do is um, a couple more steps for us to be able to use it. So with that selected, still, I'm still going to come to object and I'm going to say expand the experience, which would then allow me to image trace. Let's press OK. Wonderful. Now, as I'm happy with the image trace, what I need to do is make sure I come to the expand option up here and expand it which would then allow me now to right click on it on group. And now I can remove the background there, for instance, I'm just gonna use our selection tool like so, just to select all the white options and use backspace to remove. Wonderful. Okay, so now we have this uh, pattern. What we need to do is save this into our symbols window. So if we come to window, we have symbols. Okay, so now I'm going to select everything like so. Let's make sure we delete our little friend there. Wonderful. And select everything like that. Wonderful. So let's open up our symbols window. And with that selected, I'm going to come to our plus option there. And let's say we create a half tone pattern. Okay, now you can see that saved in there. Now, in a sense, what we can do is simply remove this. So I'm going to delete this. Fantastic. I'm going to create another ellipse. Yeah, again, using the shortcut shift to keep a portion of, and option on a map or alt on the windows to recenter from the center point there. Wonderful. I'm going to use my direct selection and remove this anchor point just by selecting it and pressing backspace to create a half a sphere. Let's make sure this sphere is white. Perfect. Okay, so with this selected, what I'm gonna do is come to effects and 3D and materials. Now they've, uh, Illustrator have really updated their uh, 3D and materials options for us. But what I would like to do today is use 3D classic version. So I'm gonna come to 3D classic and I'm gonna come to revolve. And as you can see now, we have a revolving sphere. What I wanna do is come to map art. And we're going to come, let's just move this over so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to say we want invisible geometry, like so. And as you can see, we have our symbol option here. Half tone, wonderful. Now, what you should be doing is resizing that pressure shift and we can move it to a point about there, let's say, make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm happy with that positioning. So now let's press OK. Wonderful. And now let's press OK. And what I can simply do now is come to Object, Expand Experience. Wonderful. Let's select it. Right click, Ungroup. Right click, Ungroup again. I think we may need to release. Yeah, let's release the clipping mask. Wonderful. And now we can select that outer rim there and remove that. And now this is ours to play with, which we can do now is change the color of it. 
to create the effect that we would like to show. And there you go, guys. That's how you create a half-tone sphere in Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about our school, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, take a look at our socials, Instagram, some really cool information on there. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.